In Activity 3, Barometric Changes, students continue to investigate air pressure. Students first observe and then record weather conditions twice each day and finally infer relationships between weather changes and barometric pressure. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 3, Envelopes from Activity 1, Barometer, Weather Data Chart from Activity 1, and Hook Loop Fasteners. You will also need to provide Small Flathead Screwdriver. To prepare for Session 1, make four copies of Activity Sheet 3 for each student. Obtain a current atmospheric pressure reading from a local television or radio weather broadcast. Calibrate the barometer by turning the little screw in the rear plate of the barometer until the needle points to the current atmospheric pressure. Then tap gently on the glass to make the needle settle into the position. Select a place in the classroom where the barometer can be hung or rested. The student should be able to read the barometer without disturbing it. To begin session one, review with the students that a barometer measures air pressure. Remind them that in the previous activity, the barometer was placed in a sealed container. Ask students, what did we do to make the needle move? Why did that make the needle move? The students should recall that pressing on the rubber sheet increased the air pressure in the container and releasing it decreased the air pressure. Remind the students that air always exerts a pressure even when it is not captured in a container. A point out that air pressure is not the same every day. Next, have the students gather around the barometer. Ask several of the students to read the barometer and tell the class what the air pressure is today. Remind students to use only the inner scale and express the units of pressure in millibars. Distribute Activity Sheet 3 and explain that they will measure and record the air pressure twice each day at the same time that they measure and record the temperature. Instruct students to record the temperature on the temperature data sheet and the air pressure on the air pressure data sheet. Note that the last column of the sheet will be used for recording the direction of change since the last reading. If the air pressure reading is higher than the previous reading, draw an arrow pointing up. If it is lower than the previous reading, draw an arrow pointing down. If the air pressure has not changed, draw an arrow pointing to the right. Have one student record the air pressure reading in the appropriate column on the class weather data chart. To conclude session one, tell the students that they will also record observations of the weather conditions twice each day, along with their observations of air pressure and temperature for 12 days. Some example observations are cloudy, fair, stormy, or windy. To begin session two, after three to five days of recording pressure and weather observations, draw students' attention to the class weather data chart. Allow a longer recording period if no change in the weather has been observed yet. Ask students, what do you notice when you compare the air pressure column with the weather conditions column? Some of the students should notice that when the barometric pressure was high or above 1,020 or 1,030 millibars, the weather was clear. And when the barometric pressure was low or below 990 or 980 millibars, the weather was cloudy or stormy. Then ask students, what do you notice when you compare the air pressure column with the temperature column? The student should notice that when there is a change in air pressure, there usually is an opposite change in temperature from one day to the next. Ask students, what weather changes do we observe when the air pressure changes? Students should be able to conclude that a decrease in air pressure often precedes rain or a storm, and an increase in air pressure usually indicates fair weather. Have the students continue taking readings twice each day for another 16 to 18 days. To conclude session two, make sure the class records its collective data on the weather data chart daily. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.